Learn English through stories six. Adapted and modified by Kolwant Singh Sandhu. Contents 1. Treasure Map. 2. The Lost Key. 3. The Friendly Dog. 4. Belated Happy Birthday. 5. Mintu and Other People. 6. The Swimmer. 1. Treasure Map. Once upon a time, there is a boy named Tom. He lives in a small village with his family. His dad works as a bricklayer. But his work is not regular. His mom is a cook. She works in a school as a cook. Sometimes they struggle to make ends meet. Tom's granddad passed away last year. His grandmother sometimes feels very lonely. To pass her time, she tells Tom a lot of stories, fairy tales, kings and queens, princes and princesses, and many other stories. Tom is a curious boy and loves to explore the world around him. He reads many books. Every day he wakes up early and goes for a walk in the countryside. One day Tom finds a mysterious map in his granddad's room. The map is very old. The map shows the location of a hidden treasure. Tom is very excited and decides to begin an adventure to find the treasure. He packs his backpack with many things, food and water, some spare clothes, a torch, magnifying glass, a claw hammer, and so on. He starts his journey early in the morning. He walks for hours, through a forest, through a desert, through mountains, and so on. And finally he reaches the location marked on the map. There, he finds a cave. He enters the cave and soon finds himself in a dark tunnel. Tom is not afraid. He takes out his torch and continues walking. He walks for a while, and then he sees a light in the distance. He runs towards the light and finds a big room with a treasure chest in the center. Tom tries to open the box. It does not open. He takes out his claw hammer. He pulls the lock. The lock breaks and opens. Tom opens the chest and finds a lot of gold and jewels. He looks around and there is no one. He is very happy and decides to take some of the treasure back to his village. He fills his backpack with as much treasure as he can carry and sets off back home. When Tom returns to his village, he gives the treasure to his grandmother. He says to his grandmother, It belongs to you. The treasure map was in your room. I would have given it to Grandad, but he is no longer with us, so you have it. Grandmother is very happy and proud of Tom. She says to Tom, We do not need all of it. We will keep some and build a new house. The rest we can donate to the village school, so the school can set up a new computer lab for its students, and also the school can provide midday meals with proper nutrition, a balanced diet of carbs, fat, and protein. From that day on, Tom becomes famous in the village and the other villages nearby and is loved by everyone. He continues to have many adventures and always looks for new challenges to explore. 2. The Lost Key Charon is very worried. He lost the key to his house. He can't get inside. He searches everywhere, but he can't find it. He looks in his pockets, under the doormat, and even in the bushes. Suddenly, he remembers that he gave a spare key to his neighbor. He goes to his neighbor's house. He knocks at the door. No one answers. Charon gets more worried. He goes for a little walk and comes back. He knocks at his neighbor's door again. A young girl opens the door. Hello, I've lost my key. I give a spare key to your dad. Is he in, says Charon. Sorry, my dad is still at work. What sort of key is it, says the girl. It is a long key with three bits in the front, says Charon. I look for it on the hook in the kitchen, says the girl. 
She comes back with some keys. Sharon recognizes his key and takes it from the girl. The thanks the girl and says, I haven't seen you before. The girl replies, I live away and I came back last night. Sharon goes to his door and opens it. Sharon is happy and not worried anymore. 3. The Friendly Dog Sam wakes up in the morning. She is very tired. She revised for her exam till late last night. She takes her breakfast and goes to school. She takes her test and leaves school. She is not very happy. The test was very hard. She did only three questions out of five. On the way home, she sees a dog on the street. The dog looks lost and scared. Sam slowly approaches the dog. The dog starts wagging its tail. Sam realizes that the dog is very friendly. The dog needs help. She looks for a collar or a tag. She finds nothing. She decides to take the dog home. She gives it some food and water. Then she calls the local animal rescue center. She describes the dog to them. Then she plays with the dog. She takes the dog out to the garden. The dog looks happy. The dog jumps up and down. She throws a ball. The dog picks it up and brings back it to her. She does it again. The dog does again. Sam receives a call from the rescue center. They have found the owner of the dog. The owner doesn't live very far from Sam's house. Somebody knocks at the door. It is Ms. Banerjee. She is the owner of the dog. Ms. Banerjee is very grateful to Sam for taking care of her beloved pet. From then on, Sam becomes a friend to the dog and its owner. She often stops by and plays with the dog, who is always happy to see her. 4. Belated Happy Birthday Harmon lives in Birmingham, England. He is writing a letter to his grandmother. Grandmother lives in India. 21 Langdale Street, Birmingham. The 19th. April 7, 200. Dear Grandma, I am sorry I forgot all about your birthday. Happy, happy, belated birthday. I was very busy with my work. I start work at 3 p.m. I don't finish till midnight. I work at a pizza place. I prepare pizzas. First, I prepare the base. Then I put all ingredients on it. Then I put it in the fast oven. It is baked in less than 20 minutes. The company is called Papa John's. This was my story about my work. Now I turn to you. How are you? How is your left knee? Is it still hurting when you walk? I have been saving some money. I will send it to you next month so you can get your knee treated. How is Grandad? Does he still tell funny jokes? I cannot forget all the sacrifices you did for me. You always comforted me. I remember many, many stories you told us. Thank you, Grandma, for all help you gave me when I was little. Take care. Yours always yours affectionately. Harmon. 5. Mintu and other people. Mintu lives in America. One day, his dad's car is not working. So he goes to college by bus. On the bus, he has a conversation with somebody. A car. Other person. Do you have a car? Mintu. No, but sometimes I drive my dad's car. Other person. What kind of car does your dad have? Mintu. He has a Honda Civic. Other person. What color is it? Mintu. It's black. Other person. Is it new? Mintu. It was new in 2013. Other person. 
so it's pretty old now. Mintu, yes, it is. But it still looks good. Other person, do you take good care of it? Mintu, oh, yes. I wash it once a week. Other person, do you change the oil? Mintu, we take it to a garage for an oil change. Other person, is the car fast? Mintu, it's pretty fast. It has a big engine. A girlfriend. Other person, do you have a girlfriend? Mintu, no, I don't. Do you? Other person, I don't have a girlfriend either. Mintu, why not? Other person, I don't know. Maybe I'm not rich enough. Mintu, girls like boys with money. Other person, I am not sure, maybe they do. Mintu, they like boys with new cars. Other person, I don't have money or a new car. Mintu, well, I don't have much money either, but I do drive my dad's car, of course, it is not new. Other person, but girls like boys who are funny. Mintu, maybe we should learn some good jokes. Other person, do you know any good books about funny jokes? Mentu, I am sure you can find some jokes online. One day when Mentu is going home, he starts talking to someone. Other person, where are you going? Mentu, I have to walk the dog. Other person, what kind of dog do you have? Mentu, I have a little poodle. Other person, poodles bark a lot. Mintu, I cannot say they don't. Other person, they bark at everything. Mintu, they never shut up. Other person, why did you get a poodle? Mintu, it's my mum's dog. Other person, so she likes poodles. Mintu, she says they're good watchdogs. Mintu meets his friend at college. Friend, can I borrow five dollars? Mintu, sure. Why do you need it? Friend, I want to buy lunch. Mintu, where's your money? Friend, it's not in my wallet. Mintu, your wallet is empty? Friend, I don't have even one dollar in it. Mintu, being broke is no fun. Friend, even if it's only for a short while. Mintu, it's always good to have friends. Friend, friends will lend you money when you're broke. Mintu, as long as you pay them back. Don't forget you borrowed $5 last week as well. So you owe me $10. 6. The Swimmer She stands still and tall. She seems greater than all. She dives like a fish. To be like her, one can only wish. She swims with perfect flight, her strokes like dancing light. She breathes air and rips across the water with flair. Up ahead, the audience cheer. She knows that the finish line is near. She picks up her pace as she wants to win the race. Straining with all her might, she never gives up the fight. As she reaches the wall, her name is Winner, they call.